Tens of thousands of people make up Pennsylvania's inmate population in state and local facilities. Many of them are recidivists, people who have been rearrested or reincarcerated after spending time in the criminal justice system. Tonight, a part one of the Beyond the Bar series, Fox 43's Logan Perone checks in with state and local agencies about their efforts to keep people from returning to their facilities. It's the reality for thousands of Pennsylvanians in the criminal justice system being rearrested or reincarcerated. The system failed them in one way or another. We failed them as a community. It's known as recidivism, a pattern Kelly Evans with the PA Department of Corrections says has been on the decline in state facilities. Our current recidivism rate is down. It's 54.8 percent and it's the lowest it's been in 20 years. Despite the decline, Pennsylvania still has one of the highest recidivism rates in the United States, cracking the top 10. Taxpayers take the hit. Recidivism costs the state $3.1 billion each year. A portion of that cost includes the resources that set up inmates for post-release success. We have hundreds of community partners throughout the state. Some volunteer. We also have some that are on contract with us. Partnerships are an essential part of the DOC's approach. They range from mentoring, workforce development, um, housing, like I mentioned, family reunification. It's a process that's not only working at the state level. In York County, Prison Warden Adam Ogle says the mindset and the approach have changed to benefit the county. We were trying to build bridges. We were trying to find ways to stop that revolving door of recidivism. In more than 20 years at the prison, Ogle has seen the county's recidivism rate decline and the prison population cut by about 40 percent. Under their new initiative and space called the Reentrant Opportunity Center, or the ROC, various departments come under one roof for the same reason. It's breaking down that stigma of being in the criminal justice system and letting them know like, hey, okay, everybody makes mistakes. We, what's important is that we're not continuing to make them. That's Anne Marie Camillo, the treatment reentry manager at the prison. She says the collaborative efforts give them a clear path forward in addressing individual inmates. We want to gauge what needs they're looking at leading up to release to be able to prepare and come up with a game plan, get something in line so that that's one less thing they have to worry about. Chief Probation Officer April Billet says giving a warm handoff into the community is crucial. If you leave the jail and you have nothing in place, you don't have treatment in place, you don't know where you're going to live, you don't have food, you don't have clothing, you know, it's likely that you're going to fall back on what you know to help support yourself. Through evidence and research-based models, Billet says they can identify specific areas to work on. They target the criminogenic needs of individuals coming on to supervision so that we can um, improve their outcomes, you know, create safer communities, improve their lives. With that focus in mind, re-entrance on probation and parole supervision in York County recidivate at a much lower rate of 28 percent. Re-entrance are members of our community. Both state and local efforts are helping them write their own success stories beyond the barbed wire. Some of them are business owners. Some of them work for universities. It's just amazing the things that they can accomplish. Logan Perone, Fox 43 News. York County's Rock officially launches next month, though internal efforts like it are far from the only way inmates are getting help. Community leaders are also working to make a difference on the inside. And next week, we are going to introduce you to two men who are helping people before they're released.